Hi guys, welcome back to Comfy Compositing. As promised, here is part two, video upscale in Comfy UI. In my opinion, Seed VR2 is one of the best free video upscalers available today that delivers Hollywood quality videos after upscaling. But here is the truth. Most tutorials only show ideal settings for 24 or 48 gigs of a GPU while almost everyone watching is actually using 6, 8 or 12 gigabytes of card. So in this video, I'm doing something different. I tested Seed VR2 on all VRAM tiers, starting from low VRAM, then moving up to mid, high, ultra high GPUs. So no matter what GPU you have, you'll know the exact settings that gives the best performance and the cleanest upscale. Let's get started with the group nobody ever talks about. That is low VRAM GPUs. So let's get started. First of all, to download Seed VR2, we go into the manager and then custom nodes manager and look for Seed VR2. And then from here, we download this one, A in VFX. And then you have to restart. Um, after that, when you go in and type in seed VR, you have to bring in all of these four nodes. These are the four nodes that make up the seed VR2 workflow. First of all, we have the DIT model, the VAE model, the video upscaler model, and we have torch compile settings. And then you move forward with bringing in your footage. And then I have included this video info node to fetch our uh, number of frames of the footage. So as you can see, this video has 121 frames. This will be used later on or for a high VRAM uh, workflows. So let's begin with the low VRAM GPU settings. So first of all, if we uh, zoom in here, the model should be 3B FB8. So this one, you have to select this. And once you select this and do the first run, it will automatically install it. You don't have to do anything. And then after you choose the model, you have to choose the batch size. So you can put in nine here. And then when you're using batch size, you should always use temporal overlap and prepend frames. This fixes the temporal flickering than when we see in uh, upscaling videos. Next would be the tile size. Set it to 512 over here and go tile size to 512 and then decode tile size to 512. And then block swap. We change this to 12 and you can go more aggressive up to 36. This will remove some blocks from your VRAM and load it to your system RAM, allow more um, processing on the VRAM side, and then offload device to CPU. So with these settings, you should be able to generate uh, 1080p or even 4K. Even the 4K will take longer, but you should be able to get very clean results. And mind you, these uh, uh, Seed VR2 models are uh, trained on 200 frames. So you'll get the best results for 200 frames or a bit higher. But anything for longer video generations, I would suggest to swap, make chunks of the videos of like 200 frames and then do a cross dissolve in editing applications like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci. And also um, Torch Compile. So Torch Compile is great when you have to rerun the workflow, Seed VR2 workflow over and over again. This will compile the settings and then save it so that you don't have to load um, the calculations over and over again. So let's move on to mid-size VRAM. For mid-size VRAM, we stick with 3B FB8 model and then bad size will be 21. And then uh, again, the temporal overlap and prepend frames will be three. Um, we changed the tiling size to 768 to 768. And then 
block swap to six or you can go 12 or even 24 and then offload dev device to CPU. Same thing, you can enable uh, torch compile if you're going to do multiple runs. And then high VRAM. For high VRAM, we switch the bad size to 45, overlap to three, uh, prepend frames to three, and then tiling to 1024. And then now we can turn off the block swap because uh, 24 and 32 gigs uh, cards are enough to run this whole model um, on the VRAM, but also, uh, uh, sorry, we forgot the model. Uh, we can change the model to 7B sharp, which is uh, almost full precision. Um, there is not much difference, but um, if you want the best, you can choose this one. But uh, 3B FP8 is still very good. Um, and then offload device to CPU. That's just by default. And then for ultra high VRAM, this is for 48 gigs and above cards. Uh, um, you can run the 7B sharp or um, yeah, FP16, which is full precision. Um, and then for bad size, you can go all the way to 200. And this is where we uh, preview the number of frames and feed it here. And in this case, we don't need the temporal overlap because it's one single batch. And then in this case, we also don't need tiling. Um, you might want to turn on tiling if you're rendering 6K. Um, I believe this model can do 6K and uh, at that time you may need the tiling. You can leave the block swap to zero because the VRAM has enough room to fit this whole model in one go. So yeah, these are the settings and uh, give this a try and let me know in the, in the comments uh, if uh, everything went well and if you were able to render high size, big size uh, videos. Thank you guys.